Hello Darts Nuts, welcome to Darts Review Channel. As you may have seen, Target have had a recent launch of three new players darts. So in this video, I'm reviewing the Nathan Aspinall Black SP darts, SP short for Swiss point. And I have to say, these look really nice, so I'm looking forward to trying them. So let's check them out. So I'm reviewing the 24 gram version, the 90% tungsten, they're also in 22 and 26 gram in steel tip and 18 gram in soft tip and they retail for £69.95. So the darts come in this cardboard packaging and on the back, I'm not sure if I've seen that on uh, other target packages but it has the weights along the barrel there. So I don't know if that's a new thing target are doing. Inside, there's a foam tray holding the darts. On the back, you've got the target weight guarantee certificate. And it comes with the Swiss Point tool. And they're supplied with a set of the Pro Grip Shorts M's and a set of the Pro Ultra Nathan Aspinall Black SP number two standard flights and that feels very nice that dart so the darts fit with the black target swiss points and it's a front tapered style like a wide front section and then tapering towards the rear but really nice looking dart so on the front you've got a mix of kind of notches and rings and on the rear and mid section it's these wide kind of nano grip rings but very nice feel on that pity I'm not a rear gripper though and that grip as you can see goes right to the end of the barrel but I'll show you in more detail in the super close look but I do like the look of them and they're fitted with the pro grip short stems and the Nathan Aspinall black SP number two standard flights so as you can see it's got a tapered nose with these kind of teardrop shaped notches cut through and that black pvd coating it's really black that not seen many as deep as black as that and the red metallic coating certainly contrasts nice with the black and the silvery tungsten so as you move along you've got some square cut rings and grooves then you've got a smooth section which has got the tiger logo on seem to take forever to turn around that <laughs> and then the rest of the barrel is made of these wide rings with the micro grip on the top so you've got the natural silvery rings and quite wide square cut grooves in between but really nice looking dart this one and obviously there you can see the end of the barrel and some of the foam stuck to the grip <laughs> from the inlay i don't think i'm going to be able to clean that off because it looks as if it's well stuck but really nice looking dart and that's the super close look of the nathan aspinall black sp darts <laughs> So the darts fit with the black 26mm SP points and you've got the tapered nose with the kind of teardrop notches that's 13mm and then you've got some square cut rings and grooves that's 5mm a smooth section with the target logo 7mm then the rest of the barrel is made up of these wide rings with the micro grip and the square cut grooves that's 26 millimeters length is 51 millimeters width is 7.35 millimeters twenty four point two grams twenty four point two grams again 24.2 grams again and full setup 25.81 grams here's the balance with nothing attached and with the supplied setup 
and this is a balance with medium in between short nylon stems and standard flights. Not a massive amount of grip on the front half so basically low level grip there and halfway from the middle to the rear it's deceptively grippy but it may depend on how it interacts with your finger grip but for me I'll give it a 7. It's got a bit funny there. I think I've smitten my eye, I think. Where did that one go? Mm. Treble 20, treble 5. My, my hands are really cold at the moment, so I've got that horrible dry feeling that you get when your hands are cold. And just not enough grip there at that front. I know it's got the rings and grooves there, but I'm just not feeling it. It's a nicely front weighted style barrel which should be fine for front grippers but I think it's one that's obviously made to suit the player and that's why you got the, the micro ring grip on the mid and rear section so if you like to grip there and you like that style it's definitely going to be a nice one for you. The barrel itself may be a little bit on the long side for me personally but it does feel quite nice, it's just, I wish I could have a bit more grip at that front section. And I wish my hands weren't so cold. <laughs> I really should warm up before I do these reviews, but I don't. But a little bit of grip there, but for me personally, not enough on that front section. Oh, nearly treble one. going a bit sideways that one was a little bit better um, I think my grip is mostly on the ring grip there but probably a little bit on that smooth section as well um, I guess if you're a middle grip it, it depends on how far in front or to the rear of the middle you're going to be if you're more to the rear then you're going to get more of the rings Oh, that one actually threw really smooth through the air, just not on target. But still kind of has a slightly front weighted feel, but again, it is more front heavy. So definitely a, a front weighted balance overall. Oh, some of them are going quite smooth there from the middle grip so if you're a middle gripper that likes this style you're definitely going to get a little bit of that nice ring grip so it'll still be worth a look. I can't believe that hit the 20. It felt like it came out my hand all weird. Ah, the last one almost the same, a bit weird. Uh, I have to say I do like the feel of that grip, it is very nice, but it's also nice that it goes right to the end of the barrel, so definitely nice for rear grippers. I want to miss these hairs stuck to the dart. Oh, that, that got there. So that first one went rather nice, but second one went off and then the third one quite nice again through the air so definitely quite a nice one but it does feel a little bit more front heavy from that very end of the barrel but if you're a rear gripper and you like that style then great you got a dart with a really nice grip and I managed to hit a treble <laughs> I'm not a natural rear gripper you know <laughs> Oh well there you go, that proves it, but yeah, very nice grip, 
Um, I just wish that was at the front. <laughs> Eh, hey, don't believe that. Got them too close. The other one was an unsociable dart. Didn't want to be with the others. <laughs> That's going to be my excuse from now on. When they don't group together, it's just unsociable darts. Not my problem. <laughs> anyway, uh, really nice looking dart. Um, just a pity that I haven't got a little bit more grip at the front for me as a front gripper. Some front grippers might be happy with it. And obviously, because it's a front-weighted style, it's going to have to be the kind of dart you like. So if you're a middle or rear gripper, you're getting the best from the grip. But obviously, you need to like a front-weighted style. But uh, I'm just going to check the barrel. There's a little bit of scrape there, but there's no, like, cotton coming off. It's a really deep black coat and that, so I don't know if it's titanium nitride, it says PVD in the description, but uh, there's a couple of little marks on it, but it is going to wear, now what you can do about that, but I seem to be re reviewing quite a lot of red and black darts of late, I blame Jack the darts ref, I think he started this red and black trend, we need to get back to some green darts, anyway, I quite enjoyed photographing these ones. It's one of them darts that is kind of photogenic. So I'll leave you with the gallery so you can have a close look at it. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please do so. And I'll see you in the next one. Happy darting.